Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for April 19th, 20th, 21, and 22, Monday through Thursday. Now, this is a general reading. When I am reading for Monday through Thursday, I use my two Radley Valentine decks. I use my Archangel Power Tarot cards for the main message. I will pull one from my Angel Tarot cards. I'll also pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. Remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. I'm an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power. My job, just deliver the message. Now, a couple of things. Please remember, if you like my readings, our, our readings, please remember to like, share, subscribe. It does get this out there. And it helps to, um, you know, bring more people to the to the um, videos. And then that in itself is very positive. So thank you. I do appreciate it. A couple of other things, or at least one other thing, is that any reversed cards to me has a little bit stronger energy. We have also entered into Taurus season. Happy birthday, Tauruses. I have posted the longer readings for Taurus season, so please take a look at that. Now... Why don't we begin our readings? Hello, my Virgos, and welcome to Taurus season. Lots going on. I do feel that there's a lot going to happen. We are going to have a lot of water energy, which actually I think will be very positive. So, oops, card already jumping. There we go. So um, that's going to be more around, or it's going to start more around the full moon. And I think the full moon, I haven't done my overview yet, but I think the full moon is around the 27th, and it will be in Scorpio, and secrets will be revealed. Anyway, let's see what we have for my Virgos for this week. Now, one thing, and I did tell Taurus this, so I'm going to tell this, I'm going to try to remember to tell all of the signs, but... It popped out more when I was doing Taurus readings that um, before I looked at my comments, the message was really strong to pay attention to the numbers. What does it mean? I'm not quite sure. And then somebody commented with numbers. Shout out to Sir Serenity. Anyway, so that gave me a little bit of validation. Anyway, let's see what we have here for my Virgos. First card. The three of Ariel. Now, Ariel is earth energy. It's your energy. It's also Capricorn. It's also Taurus. Very solid. Very, um, I'm feeling, okay, I'm feeling, my, okay, very solid, very much to do with your home or your work or how you create your money or your passions. Okay, I'm feeling like work in itself has been, has become a little bit stale or has become a little bit, uns well, has become unsatisfying. So again, this is that time for you, this for you to really think about alternate alternative means to create how you're going to support yourself, okay? It doesn't mean that um, you're going to quit your job. In fact, it's always easier to have a, to get a job when you have a job. It's not that at all, but it's kind of like, think it's looking at alternative ways, alternative means. You know, if you're not necessarily happy in what you're doing, this is a time to possibly look for that thing or that um, hobby, work, whatever, that will actually make you or help you to be happy. We create our own happiness. You know, we make the decision whether we're going to be happy or not. You know, a lot of times people around us do bug us. And they, you know, it's kind of like, ah, I don't want to be around you. I am not feeling happy. But I'm kind of thinking, my Virgos, this is going to be one of those, okay, I'm going to give you homework. Each day, I would like you to do, I think, maybe two things. One is ask yourself, am I happy? And the other is to tell yourself, I will be happy today no matter what. Of course, you know, that's reaching out to your higher power or your guardian angels or whoever that is for you. Now, threes have a lot of creativity to it. There's a lot of power in threes. It's also, you know, trinity. It's also a very celestial type of number. This is about making things, um, this is, you know, in that material world, it's about making some changes and it's about making things actually happen, 
happen for you that is going to possibly blow some doors open, okay? Oh, and meaning not blow them open, but open those doors for you. Anyway, do what you love, a time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors, working with others in a cooperative manner. This is also a good time that if, you're, if your job is a little bit on that stale side um, or it's just not as fulfilling, this is a wonderful time for you to get out there and do some interviews. Um, and I'm not saying to leave the company you're with. Many times, it's a, you know, it's because your reputation precedes you. My Virgos, people know that you are good at what you do and you're a good worker. But this is a time for you to get on their job site and look to see if there's something that might intrigue you. Okay? Okay. Next card, this is reversed. The High Priestess. Now, we have a two here. So three, we have the three and the two. Let's see, the numbers aren't really jumping per se, but this is Archangel Heniel. Now, my Virgos, you are very spiritual. You have a strong connection. I've talked to you about, you know, I've told you that, you know, one of my Virgos, how, how she helps to make that real is she writes down her messages that she receives. And so it becomes tactile for her. And that's something that my Virgos, you may want to do. Because otherwise, it's kind of, you know, ethereal. It's kind of out there. But by writing it down, it makes it real. Okay, so this is also about connecting with your higher power, again, connecting with your angels, connecting with that spiritual side. Whenever you're going to go down that road, though, well, we should do this probably every day. You know, I ask my higher power every day, cover me with your cloak of protection. Okay, so this is all about powerful insights, reflection and meditation that provides valuable information. Be at peace. So don't, you know, kind of one of those things is there might be, you know, it's not the chariot, but because that's when it's like, hey, hands off, you're not in control. We can do only so much in where and what and where we're, we're going and heading, but there's this higher power. There's something so much bigger than us out there that helps to guide, but we do have choices. So if we're going down someplace, whether it's going to be something, um, you know, very much light working or something towards that dark, we have the choice to say no. We do. We truly, truly have that choice. And just because it's going down to the light working does not mean it's going to be easy. Here we go. Your last card. The Nine of Raphael. Now, we could look at this as three squared. You know, two can be like that three squared. So three times three, that equals nine. I'm reaching a little bit. But Nines have that completed energy, that let's wrap it up energy. This is like things are coming to a head energy. Things are coming together energy. Raphael is our Scorpio. It's our Pisces. It's our Cancer. Fluid emotional. But this is the wish card. That's, you know, like I was saying towards the beginning, you know, you will have opportunity. You will, you know, the, this energy, I should say this energy is going to expand your thinking and expand what it is you want to do. Like I said, I feel like your work has gotten a little stale and this is just kind, you know, and now this could not, this could also be in your personal life. It could also be in your home and family life too. But this is the wish card. This is make a wish. This is your time to, you know, to, to reach out and just think that, you know, anything could be possible. Here we go. Make a wish. Dreams become reality. A joyful time of life. Now let's go here. So yeah, I, I mean, yeah, and I, I'm kind of I'm kind of liking that three squared. You know, when it's like a three with a little, you know, and it's the, and a three squared means three times three. And that equals nine. So there could be something there for you. Twos are about choices also. Crossroads. Here we go. We're going to cut for one card. This is reversed. The lovers. So now we have the three, six, nine. Those are Tesla numbers. I think, you know, I, right? I, yeah, I believe those are Tesla numbers. So again, there's something with these numbers going on. This is Archangel Raphael. So you have Heniel and you have Raphael. Now I can tell you that Raphael is um, the angel of healing, the angel of comfort. 
And, you know, there's the lovers. Now, the lovers could be a new relationship in any of the, you know, in any of the three that I talk about. Your work, job, career, personal, intimate, interpersonal, family, or home. You know, it could be in any of that. Um, you know, I did, you know, like I said, this doesn't necessarily mean that this is totally a work reading. Be you know, I know I don't like to go down that more of that personal stuff, that intimate stuff, but this could apply to that also, that there could be some relationship that's just a little stale, it needs to be perked up a little bit. But Raphael, the lover, six is the number of man, so it's kind of like the efforts that you have put into it, what you have, you know, how you have made the relationship. You know, there's also taking some responsibility of your part. What have you allowed and what have you, um, what has really been out of your control, okay? So there is, that's, that's something really, I think, that's going to be very um, thought-provoking for you this week. Anyway, this is about intimate relationships. Carefully weigh your decisions. Good health. Now, I do like that. The lovers is always, I mean, when we see the lovers, people think, oh, this is all about love and relationships, and it is about relationships. But... Um, and it is, there is many ways on how do you approach it. Do you approach, you know, again, I am going to be happy. I am going to be happy. That's more the case. Anyway, let's go here. This card popped. What well, crystal or element would be helpful for my Virgos? This is reversed. This is all about emerald. Mm -hmm. Unconditional love, beauty, recovery, healing past lives. This is not an emerald, this is glass, but, you know, how would that look? <laughs> a little gaudy. Anyway, but I do like it, and I did like the, I did like the green on that. So we're going to leave that as that. So, so my Virgos, interesting stuff for you, choices for you. Um, I like it, and let me know what happens. Remember the button, like, share, subscribe. More importantly, my Virgos, please know always that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.